Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka the Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Warhammer Mortal Realms painting video. This time we're painting up some Night Haunt. But as per usual, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below. It's always great to hear some feedback from everybody as well. And with this one, as you can tell, we're painting up that lovely Spirit Torment that we got with issue number 19. Um, it has taken me a little while to get around to doing it. I had painted it up ready and I was in the middle of processing the other one, so it's just taking a bit of time. Uh, the other one should be coming up in the very near future when I fix one of them because I managed to break a hand off one of the models as per usual because they're a pain in the ass sometimes with the night haunt because they're a bit fiddly. But it will be coming up very, very soon. But as per usual, of course, we should just jump straight into the paintwork. So, as per usual with all Night Haunt, I've started off with a white base coat, which is just a matte white spray paint primer that you can get from B&M. Dirt cheap, very easy to get hold of, very easy to use as long as the weather conditions are right or you have a warm-ish, well-ventilated room that you can spray in, which not everybody has. Then, layer over Night Haunt Bloom uh, you might want to do two coats of this because it does look a bit patchy and a bit thin at times um, so if you do two coats it will look very very nice and make sure you get into that inside piece of the model as well which can be a little bit awkward in all honesty and then once that's dry and that second coat is dry if you do a second coat all I did was I went over with a dry brushing of Vallejo's white grey paint very very similar to Corax White, just a little bit duller, um, but it looks very very nice and it works very very well. Because uh, very little bottles, which are a lot better than the little pots that James Workshop get you in all, give you in all honesty, it works very very well. And then because I wanted to go for metal over that head piece, all I did was I layered over Mechanica Standard Grey so the metallic paints take a lot easier and a lot better without looking patchy and horrible at the same time. And then lay it over with good old trusty iron breaker for the main parts of the metal work. Um, iron breaker of course looks quite dark and dingy so it works very very well for things like night haunt because they would have dark dingy armour and weaponry. And then over certain areas, all I've done is use Scorpion Brass over certain things, so like the middle key, certain padlocks, and certain areas of that helm. Doing this, of course, breaks up all that silver, which is quite nice, and it looks gives it a nice look. And then, all you're going to do is to dull it down even further, use some Norn Oil. Dead simple. Uh, it's a simple trick, but it makes it everything look a little bit grimy and it works very, very well for metallic work, with it, especially when it comes to things like the Night Haunt. And then finally, you're going to want some model flesh for those hands. Uh, so all I used was iron rack flesh, uh, or iron rack skin, uh, as you might want to call it. Um, and it works very, very well, like I have done with the other night haunts. Um, it works perfectly for them. It gives them that model flesh look. You can use pallid witch flesh if you wish to, and it will get a very similar look. And there you have it, the Spirit Torment in its all its glory painted up and based so the basing was done using uh, Vallejo's ground texture paste which is dead simple it dries a bit white and clear and in places and stuff like that but it works just like sterling mud uh, but you can paint over it in whatever color you want so it'll work better than sterling mud in the long run because you can use it on more things costs about the same but you get probably about 10 times as much for your money and then I just added a few tufts of grass and that little skull and rock that you get with that model. So there you go, dead simple, very easily done. Um, won't take you long really, you can do it probably in once, well, 
well maybe two sittings um, because you need to if you're going to use night haunt gloom you need to let it dry if you do two coats of it you need you have to let it dry twice which is a pain in the ass um, and the non oil will take a little while to dry it as well but other than that brilliant model uh, looks very very nice i'm quite happy with how it's looked and i think it fits in quite well with the night horn that we've already had and already painted up so all's well that ends well coming up soon on the channel you will see a few more painting videos um just gotta find the time to finish them and do them so the other ones have pretty much all been started apart from the new no, nice new stormcast um which need to be primed which will be happening very very soon and i'll get painting those as fast as i can um but other than that that is pretty much it for me so i will be back very very soon with some more videos um so keep an eye out on the channel if you're not already a subscriber as per usual hit the subscribe button helps out massively for small creators such as myself um even though we're not monetized or anything like that and we can't monetize you can help us out in a massive massive way thank you very much for watching i will see you next time i suppose bye bye now